Okay, okay. So, all right, so let's start with this then. All right, so can you tell me a little bit about the company and what type of freight do you guys haul? Okay. Well, I'm going to start with the refrigerated side, okay? Go ahead. Um, we Basically, we've been in business since 1931, um, officially, <laughs> unofficially, a couple years before. And uh, we're, we're well known for, for doing refrigerated. Um, we do a lot of meat, uh, so pork, chicken. Uh, we do a lot of ice cream. We do produce. Uh, we we'll haul some alcohol. Um, just mostly that, that kind of stuff. Um, so that's the majority of it on the refrigerated side. Sounds like a lot. We of have two different divisions. On, there is some waiting. Yeah. yeah. On, on the but we have guaranteed side. pay across. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. And we have guaranteed pay pretty much across the board um, because we know that time is money for you and we're trying to um, give you a little bit of peace of mind. I mean, that depending on, let me see, where you're at a Cleveland. So the positions that we have out of your area, a thousand dollar minimum is, is guaranteed. So, you know, you're not going to get less than that. Now with our pay per mile, 10 cents of it's per diem. So you're not taxed on it. And with somebody who has minimum experience, you know, three, three months or to, you know, to a year of experience, you're looking at starting at 55 cents a mile. So at 55 cents a mile. And if you decide to run coast to coast, uh, you have a little bit less wait period. than if you're running more of the Midwest, it's just because, that's uh, more of the meat loads are in the Midwest. And so you see a little bit more wait period for those. Um, and then, you know, when you're running coast to coast out West, those lengths of haul are, are significantly different, almost twice as that in the Midwest. So you're, you're obviously going to rack up the miles um, what, a little bit more. Now you say for people that got like, you know, the minimum experience, what about the people that got, uh, that got five years or more? Where, where do they start off at? Well, if you're five years, you're looking at about 60 cents a mile. Um, if you're, if you know, if you have over 15 years experience, you're at our top pay, which is currently at 70 cents a mile. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. So, of course, yeah. we already went over the experience. Uh, we already went mm-hmm. over the experience of uh, what you guys offer. So, the minimum experience is three, is three sits to a year, right, of coming in? Well, no, actually, we will, we will um, hire for someone who is a recent graduate of a PTDI certified school. So, a school that's at least 160 hours. Okay. Um, However, and that's in my refrigerated division, mm-hmm. um, however, you'll need to go with training for mm-hmm. us and we'll train you. Um, you have a week long orientation followed by two to three weeks with a trainer right. and we'll pay you a thousand dollars for the week of orientation mm-hmm. followed by $700 a week for orientation. Now keep in mind that is before the guarantee, not orientation, uh, $700 a week for training is what I meant to say. Right. Yes. <laughs> Um, so that is before the guarantee of a thousand dollars a week. Cause once you're running solo, that's right. when you'll get that thousand dollar guarantee. Okay. Okay. But that's a minimum guarantee. So I don't expect somebody like that. I don't, that thousand dollars is like a safety net for you. Mm. You know, so with our miles, uh, again, depending on if you're getting home on a weekly basis, mm-hmm. um, in your case, for my refrigerated, it's about two weeks out at a time. We figure a day and a half for every seven days you're out. So you're looking at about, um, you know, three days home time uh, with staying out two weeks at a time. Okay. And now I can't guarantee that you're going to be home on, on the weekend, right. even though a lot of times you'll be coming home on, you know, Friday or excuse me, a Saturday or, or Sunday. Sundays are cut off Sunday night at, at 10 p.m. Mm-hmm. So we do like to straddle that home time with your your days off only because it, it works out better for the payroll with our requirements for the guaranteed pay. Okay. And so okay. those requirements, um, hopefully I'm not bouncing around here too much for no, you. No, 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 this, no, you're you good. Know? You're good. Take your time. Yeah. Take your time. Um, all okay. right. So for the, so, so that's, so that's for the refrigerated part. What about for the drive-in part? Uh, mm-hmm. Is there any difference? I don't that? have any drive-in. 
I don't have any dry van available right now. Oh, okay. Um, so everything, and actually, when I do, it's not really in your area. Right. So everything that's the, everything that you guys is uh, is advertising for is refrigerated right now. Refrigerated or flatbed. Okay, mm-hmm. refrigerated or flatbed. All right. So now, yeah, and what, we can train in flatbed as well. That's what I was about to ask. So for, so for somebody that's interested in flatbed, now what's the pay variance? Or the pay breakdown in flatbed. I'm I'm assuming it's a little bit more because it's a little bit more work involved. It is a little bit more. Uh, the base, the guarantee, a thousand a week is going to be the same. Mm-hmm. However, the base is instead of the fifty five cents a mile for the refrigerated for someone with three months to a year, you're looking at fifty six cents a mile. Okay. Um, of course, the more experience you have, the more it goes up. Okay. So if you if your other uh, increment you asked was five years. Mm-hmm. Five years would put somebody at sixty-four cents a mile in the flatbed okay. versus um, sixty cents a mile now what in about, the refrigerated. What about it goes up. what about tarp pay and how often do they tarp? Tarping and securing is pretty much every load, even though we do pay for um, tarpers in at a location oh, okay but you'll get 25 dollars to tarp and 25 dollars to untarp so it's 50 dollars total per load okay. uh, with the and we do bungees we use bungees that's a common question okay um and the material that we haul for flatbed is a lot of building supplies steel beams sheet mm-hmm. rock so lots mm-hmm. of wallboard um uh lumber we okay. do have some coils and uh, we'll have some of those every once in a while. We'll have like heavy, random things. Heavy haul? We we don't do a lot of heavy haul. No, it, that's actually very rare. Um, I was thinking more like car wash guts, you know, oh, the okay. interior of a car wash. Okay. Um, just random things, you know, things like that. Uh, we do haul some, um, besides coils, we do haul... Uh, like tubes and and pipes and but it's basically building supplies for the most part. Okay, awesome, awesome. And you and you did say that you do you guys will train for a uh, flatbed, right? Right, right. So depending on the division that the individual wants to run, like if they're looking to run um, coast to coast, that one's going to require about six months of experience of, of flatbed experience or a year of tractor trailer experience before we train. Uh, The reason being is you're further away from our main terminal, which is in Fort Dodge, Iowa. Mm -hmm. And if you need training in that, uh, we want you to be closer so that we can provide, you know, make sure that you have the additional support. However, if you're running more of the Midwest in our flatbed, we do offer training if you're a recent graduate from a PTDI certified school, or if you have less than a year of experience. Um, we'll offer that. And it's the same type of thing with the training where you have a week of orientation followed by two weeks with a two to three weeks with a trainer before running solo. Um, the one thing I didn't mention with the refrigerated, which holds true to the flatbed as well, is we'll do a reimbursement. We pay, we pay you back for whatever your financial obligation was uh, that you completed for your schooling up to $6,000. We pay you two hundred dollars a month once you've been here for ninety days, up to that six thousand. Okay, so awesome. Can take advantage of that. All right, very good with that. Now, um, of of course the of course the pay, uh, we just got finished mm-hmm. to, uh, going over that. The the pay with you guys are W two. So since you guys offer W two, do you guys offer benefits? And if so, what are they? Mm-hmm. Right. We do have some lease purchase available. You're going to need some more experience for that. Um, so then you would have that 1099. But the, the benefits for the company driver are Blue Cross Blue Shield, an 80-20 plan, um, starts after 60 days. We have a 401k with a 50% match also after 60 days. Uh, along with the medical is some dental and vision and prescription, um, um, virtual or like on-demand type medical benefits as well. Uh, of course, we have an EAP program. This is May is Mental Health Awareness Month, so we have quite a bit of resources for that. Um, we have our, our YouTube channel, our, our Facebook page, Facebook group as well, TikTok that we do offer 
a lot of resources, a lot of um, tips and help and answering questions uh, for all of that, not only for mental health awareness, but year-round. Um, benefits, let's, let me bounce back to that. Um, we have, besides the, the 401k and the medical and the dental, we have a Verizon discount. I believe it's 18% right now. Mm-hmm. And we have a... Um, we have two monthly bonuses. One is this, uh, a smart drive bonus, which will be renamed shortly because that's smart drive is our, our safety feature, which includes both the inward and outward facing event recorders. Mm-hmm. But we are transitioning from smart drive to lytics, which is a lot clearer view. And it'll actually show both sides of the tractor trailer instead of just the one because of where it is centered okay. Okay. in the, uh, so on the windshield. Of course we're gonna um, have so we're gonna have uh we're gonna have driver facing cameras in the, is it already set in the truck already mm-hmm. or driver facing cameras when you guys get the, the light at system? We have smart drive already in there mm-hmm. but with the transition these are going to be clear. They're set up very similar where they're not, you know, it's not a constant record. We can't, there's no live feed or anything like that. It has a, a critical event trigger. So it'll start triggering 20 seconds. This is a little bit different than our smart drive because the Lytx or Lytx or whatever you want to call it, it is, it's a 20 second on each side of an event where smart drive, I believe is 10. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, we, we, we don't so have that to- part will be different. We, we we don't have to go into details about the about the driver cam because a lot of a, a a lot of myths out there between what is supposed to be said and supposed to be done how versus how the system is actually set up. We we really don't have to we really don't have to talk okay. about that because it's gonna be it's the guys that that trust me the guys out here that's been driving and that's been doing the damn thing they they already know how how the driver cam is is set up and nobody can pretty much tell them different. Um, all right, so <laughs> you guys is located in Iowa. Um, of course, uh, yep. of course, you know, main people, terminal at least. Of course, the orientation is out in Iowa. How would you get us out there? Mm-hmm. Normally a rental car, uh, but we do offer flight is so that, you know, cause not everybody wants to, to get the rental. And with the rental, we do pay for the gas as well. Um, hotel mm-hmm. and meals are covered while you're here. Okay. And okay. yeah. Now do- when you're with a trainer, keep in mind that you'll be staying in the trainer truck right. while you're training. Uh, okay. often question. All right. Awesome. Uh or uh for orientation, pre employment, drug screen, uh two part question. Yes, good question. Uh, two part question. Yeah. Part one is uh urine or hair follicles or both? Both for both hair follicle and your analysis. Now, ahead of time, like for the orientation, we like to do the the urinalysis and the drug, or excuse me, urinalysis and the physical ahead of time, right. along with an online orientation, so that we can get the for a student to get the training and everything in and completed within the week long orientation. Now, somebody with three or more months of experience, we don't require that that week long of orientation mm-hmm. in. Instead, we'll do a two and a half day orientation. But again, we want the physical, the drug test, and the um, online orientation completed ahead of time. What if now, pe- the hair follicle is actually done in. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hair follicle. Go ahead. Yeah, the hair follicle is actually done in Fort Dodge as well as the driving test. Um, and, you know, so, Ooh. and then probably a physical capacity evaluation. Ooh, okay. So. The urinalysis is done before we get there. So mm-hmm. let's just throw a hypothetical. If I okay. pass if I pass the urinalysis, which is for DLT compliance, I get out mm-hmm. I get out there and for some strange reason I don't pass the hair follicles, 
then would I be disqualified or where would I be as far <laughs> as coming in the, uh, coming into driving for you guys? Because I already passed the urinalysis, which is, again, DOT compliant. Mm-hmm. You would be disqualified for driving for us until you finish like a SAP program or had at least three years uh, between the time that you failed the, the hair follicle. Um, so, and that's, that's a company policy, not DOT required, obviously, right. but that obviously is a, a big safety issue. And we give, we let everybody know that they're doing hair follicle ahead of time. So, and we let them know that it goes back roughly about 90 days because we don't want any surprises. If, if they're not going to qualify, we don't want to put their livelihood at risk. Well, they shouldn't, you know, they don't want to, shouldn't have put their livelihood at risk anyway, but I, you know, who knows what they were doing okay. before then. Okay, so I got you. And now that you mentioned the SAP program, do you offer do you, do you offer uh-huh. guys to the the do you hire drivers that's uh, for the SAP program or no? We can um, hire drivers who completed the SAP program, but only if it's been at least six months since the event. Um, let me rephrase this: it has to be a year from the event that it happened, and six months from completion of the SAP program. Okay. Now, I'm 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 kind of I'm I'm kind of on the I'm I'm kind of with you and I, I and I believe me, I wholeheartedly agree uh that if anybody that's coming into this industry uh they should just make sure that they are clean uh before mm-hmm. you know taking the drug test. But you mentioned you 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 mentioned that if you get disqualified you know, for the hair follicle, mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. how, how would, how, okay. I might sound funny in saying this cause I'm trying to find the words for it, but Go ahead. how, how are we going to get into the SAP program if the hair follicle doesn't, uh, is, isn't DLT compliant because my clearing house, but if my urine is dirty, that was they will actually mm-hmm. put it in my clearinghouse, and from clearinghouse, I will have to that's go true. through the SAP program. But if if the hair that's true, right? So if the hair follicle is a company, uh, is is a company thing, what do that what do mm-hmm. that has to do with me? You know, with me getting into the SAP program? Um, good question, and I don't know the answer to that. Uh, I would have to do a little bit of checking. So. With instances such as that, we've just required that the driver has waited at the very minimum one year before they can apply with us again. I got you. I um, got you. Because now that you say that, I'm rethinking the actual conversation that we had on that. Mm-hmm. It's not a, obviously it's not something that we run into a whole lot. I got you. I got you. Um, because everything is shared well in advance and we let them know, Hey, if you, if you are on a prescription or something, please bring it with, let us know, because if it comes up, we want, you know, we, we want to make sure that we've got you covered. Okay. Um, I got a scenario yeah. for, I, I, I got another scenario for you and I only have a few more questions. So we, we, we about to, you know, get up out of here in a few, uh, scenario being <laughs> that I that that I'm in the Facebook group. A young lady uh, worked for uh, a cannabis uh, farm. I'm I'm going to say cannabis farm office warehouse. Okay. And of course, you know, being around all that, you know, you right. get it on your clothes, you get it in your skin, you get it in your hair. Uh, of course, she went to get uh, the urine. You know, she passed her urine, but unfortunately for the hair, you know, she got, you know, disqualified. In situations like that, uh, is there a way to explain that to you guys to get qualified? You know, in a situation like that, um, I would, if somebody, if I knew, because we do the verifications ahead of time, okay? So if we recognize that that's where that individual was working, they already know that we're doing the hair follicle test. Mm -hmm. So odds are they're going to bring it up and say, hey, I've been working here. If that's the case, then 
we I would have to bring that to my HR department and benefits and and really find out, mm-hmm. you know, what can we do? But okay. that is a far far thing to happen, you know, like <laughs> it's not likely <laughs> that that's going to happen. However, I mean that that somebody's that's where somebody works and um, they're coming over here. Not that it can't; it's just not not likely. Um, so I don't have a solid answer for you on that. Okay. It, but it would definitely be something I'd reach out to my HR ahead of time. I appreciate it. That's get why their we input. That's that's why we do yeah. stuff like this because you know questions that, like I yeah. said, that 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 are being asked are questions that you may know or may not know, and give you an opportunity mm-hmm. to you know get the answer so that when somebody else call you up and be like, hey, you know, I work for a cannabis place and I just want to know, and you could be like, yeah. yeah, you know what, I talked to. I, I talked to a, a a guy that did a podcast, and he was the one that kind of get. Okay, I'm with you on that. So, all right, tr- <laughs> <laughs> truck equipment and and the uh, govern speed. Where where are they at? Govern speed is 68 on the cruise, but 65 on the pedal. Okay, difference there. And then the equipment. Oh, this is my favorite thing to talk about. The equipment is mostly the 579 Peterbilt. Mm-hmm. We have some 760, 780 Volvos, and a few Freightliner Cascadia Evolutions. Okay. They are all newer model in the sense that they're like 2019 is our oldest. Mm-hmm. Those suckers are coming out starting this month. Right. Um, so we are trying to get those out of here as, as soon as possible. Okay. Um, uh, where else was I going with that? Um, they have... APUs, refrigerators, microwaves, 32-inch television with company-paid satellite TV. Uh, we have Sirius radio, which that one, all the equipment is there, but on, in the Sirius, you'd have to hold the subscription. So that's okay. different than the television where we, we hold the subscription and, and pay for that. Okay. Um, we have the smart drive unit, which will be Lytics, like that I mentioned before, which mm-hmm. does lane departure, speed gauge, all of that as well. Uh, we have, uh, instead of pre-pass, we have drive-wise, because I know a lot of people are familiar with pre-pass, so drive-wise is a little bit different. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to be more accurate. Um, we have, uh, we use a fuel solution mm-hmm. and Hartford fuel solution, which takes into account your tolls, your scales. Oh, speaking of, we use um, best pass mm-hmm. for for Scale. that section and I'm trying to think but it's going to take the um, the fuel solution will take all of that into account as well as our discounts so whatever right. it states on the fuel island that doesn't mean anything all right. um, and what else do we have we have CBs in the truck um, yeah they're they are very well equipped trucks double bunk right. um, so I'm sure I'm missing. Wi-Fi. There we go. <laughs> go right. ahead. Awesome. Awesome. Um, do you guys run the Northeast? And if so, do we get paid extra for running up there? Yes. We run. You get paid extra. We very rarely run it. Um, honestly, we try to avoid it. But yeah, there's there's some loads that will go up there. And not really. I, I say this, and then all of a sudden it will bite me in the butt. But um, most everything is is going to be south of New York. Um, we'll have some things in New Jersey every once in a while. We'll have, we have an ice cream load that goes into Maryland. Um, but we pay $25 if the load originated, um, in the North, you know, like in Pennsylvania area. Okay. Okay. Uh, we pay $50 if it originated out West. All right. All right. Is there, up. is there a sign on bonus? And how is it paid? Yes. Um, so this sign-on bonus is twofold. It is five thousand dollars, and it pays quarterly, twelve fifty each quarter. But if you run over now, this is two part here. If you run over two twenty thousand, excuse me, for the quarter in the flatbed, or twenty five thousand for the quarter in the refrigerated, you're going to get an additional five cents a mile for every mile over that amount that that does not qualify you for the 1250 each quarter you know that, that for the 5000 that's over and above 
All right. All right. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, Jess. Well, thank you very much. Do me a huge favor. Please text me, uh, if you can, uh, the Intelli link uh, for for the drivers to, yeah. you know, to get in, uh, to connect with the uh, application. Um, and if you like, you okay. know, text me your, you know, your contact information and I will put that in the description as well. That would be fantastic. I will go ahead and, and I'm going to put it through Messenger because that's where I started my conversation with you. Um, right. If that's okay with you. It'll be a lot easier. And then that you, way. Oh, okay. Would it be easier to do it through Messenger? Because it'd be a lot easier to do it through text. Okay. Let me. Well, no, just go, go ahead. Make it. Make. I'll make it easy for you. Go ahead and do it through message. Uh, either. Either one will yeah. work. So I'm. I'm not too worried. Um, yeah. I just. I'll have it in both because the information that I I typed it all up for you uh, with, for the most part, everything that we just went over, answering all of your questions. Mm -hmm. Um. But I didn't put the link, so drivedecker.com. Yeah, yeah. Go I'll ahead. put that yeah. over there. Yeah, put all you know, put all the information in so that they can uh you know, when they go into the description and everything, they can just easily click on it after they, you know, hear the conversation. So You bet. Let right. me know when you um uh, when you post it and I'll I, share that. I will definitely do that. I I will definitely do that. I would as soon as uh as soon as I get it together and post it. I will send you the link so you can go ahead and share it out. And I do very much appreciate you guys coming on, sharing uh, sharing the good information for Decker. Because, like I said, I, I, I've seen y'all TikToks. I've seen y'all YouTube page. Y'all <laughs> just got finished doing a, a huge uh, employ or driver appreciation. So it looks as though Decker might just be a good company to retire from. Well, I have been here over 10, well, 12 years, um, just coming up on my 12th, and I I really appreciate it. I think uh, I've seen growth. Uh, you know, you've seen stagnant times where, where you're like, man, I know we can do better, and then you find a solution and, and you start making things better. Um, so I, I'm quite proud of the company and uh, the improvements and, and the driver-first mentality that everybody has. It's good to hear uh, a recruiter that been there for a, a, a long time. That's that's uh, that that really feels for the company. So that's good to know. All right. Well, thank you very yeah. much, Jess. I really do appreciate you. You bet. No problem. You take care. Be right. safe. I um, will. Try and stay out of those tornadoes. I hear that they're yeah, Kansas. they're uh, in the Midwest right now. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, ma'am. I will. And thank you very much, ma'am. <laughs> Check it out.